Hello dancers, welcome ballerinas. Um, first, let's make sure we have a nice clear space to do our dancing in. So let's make sure we have all of our toys picked up and we have a nice clean area to work in. Let's start seated crisscross applesauce. And remember, normally we start in a circle. It's okay that we can't be in a circle today because we can still look at each other. Place two fingers on the ground and float your head up nice and tall, like a balloon floating up to the sky. Take a deep breath in and blow out birthday candles. Do it again, smell the flowers. In through your nose and blow out birthday candles. One more time, float your head up as high as you can. And exhale, blow out your birthday candles. Very nice. Let's get started with some stretches of our feet and our legs and you can just follow along. like a pike and point and flex point and flex point and flex one last time point and flex and hug your knees hide your eyes stretch out sit nice and tall float your head up point and flex point and flex, point, and flex. One more time. Hug your knees. This time turn into a butterfly. Hold on to your ankles, knees open nice and wide. Still floating that head up. Clap your butterfly wings. Sit up as tall as you can. And hug those knees again. Back out to your pike. Now point one foot and change and change again. Now point both feet, stretch down, touch your toes, roll up. Now let's do that a little bit faster. Point and change and change. Point both toes, stretch down, reach as long as you can, don't let your knees bend, and roll up nice and tall. Go ahead back to crisscross applesauce and we'll do some port de bras. Moving on to port de bras. Port de bras means how we move our arms. So there are a few basic positions that we work with. Our starting position is always going to have our fingertips starting on the ground. So I usually put the middle fingers, I just place them gently on the floor. They're not resting on the floor so my wrists don't break, but I have straight lines from my shoulders all the way down to those fingertips. So you have to support your wrists. Okay, you don't want to look like this, but you don't want to look like this. Nice straight lines, right? If you don't have a mirror, sometimes you can use um, a big window at night makes a good mirror. Um, if you sit in front of your oven when it's not on, that makes a good mirror you can look at to practice. So if you don't have a mirror to look at and somebody can't video you so you can look at it later, you can go ahead and use one of those alternatives. All right, so moving on, we're going to go through first. First position is when I have my hands in front of my heart. My fingertips are pretty close together and I always hide my thumbs because ballerinas don't have thumbs, they hide them. Second position, I always say you have your hands, your arms around two best friends. So I have a friend on this side and I have a friend on that side. Okay, my arms are curved, but they're not rounded like I'm holding on to um, something heavy. I'm not holding them in, but they're around two people, around their shoulders. All right, so we've done first, we've done second, and we're gonna do fifth O. We're gonna make a large O right over top of our head. Okay. When I go to second position, my elbows are pointed toward the back of the room. My fingertips are moving forward toward the front of the room. When I go to fifth position, now my elbows are pointed out toward the sides of the room. Okay. Fingertips are still coming close together and I want to think about having lots of space around my head. If I straighten my arms like this, it doesn't look very pretty. If I round my elbows out, I want to make sure you can see my earrings, then I have a nice round fifth O. And you can see that nice round O that I'm making. We're going to start with our right arm. It's going to come up to that first position in front of your heart. 
out to second. Then it's going to get longer with allonge. So I get long and then I float it down to the floor. Repeat the same thing on the left. In front of my heart, out to second. Allonge gets nice and long before it floats down to the floor. Now you're going to do it with both of your arms. First, second, allonge and floats down to the floor. From here, your two fingertips are going to trace a circle on the floor over your head, hold on to your hat so that you come up with a nice flat back. Shoulders are down when I get up here. Okay, I don't want to see your eyes come up first, so don't play peekaboo when you come up. You have to hold on to your hat, and when you come forward, don't let your seat lift off the floor. Okay, you want to stretch your back out, come up with a nice flat back. Okay, moving on, the right, the right arm will start, goes down to first, out to second, back to first, and up. Repeat first, second, first, and up. The next thing in our pattern was both arms. So both arms come down, both arms out to second, back in and up. Then I combre back. So when I combre, I lift my heart up to the ceiling and I make sure I can still see my fingers. If I let my arms drop too far, it doesn't look very pretty. So I hold them so I can still see my fingers and then I'm gonna come up to a seated position. You don't need to turn to the side. I only did that so that you can see where I was going, okay? From there, you open eight, seven, six, five, allonge on four, three, two, and one. And then we will start the whole sequence over, starting with the left hand. So it goes heart, friend, long, float down. That's first, second, allonge, floats down. Both arms do the same pattern, stretch, Trace on the floor and flat back up. Then it's first, second, first, back up, first, second, first, and up. Both arms come down and two friends, bring them in and up. Combre back, lift your heart up, come back to seated, open your arms, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, let's try it with some music. Ready? Right arm, first, second, long, and down, first, second, long and down. Both arms come up and open, stretch long, quarter bra forward, flat back up, still on the right arm. And first, second, first, both arms, first, and second, back in and up. Lift your heart, lift. Make sure you can see your fingers. And eight, seven, six, five, long on four, three, two, repeat with your left arm. First, second, gets long and goes down. First, second, gets long and goes down. Two arms, first, second, nice and long. Combre forward, stretch your back out. And up. And left arm. Are you hiding your thumbs? Two arms. Press your shoulders down so I can see your earrings. And lift your heart to the sky. Sit nice and tall, float your head up. And eight, seven, six, five, allonge on four, three, two, and rest on one.
Very nice. Okay, open up your grade book. Give yourself a nice A plus because you're absolutely awesome. Let's move on and do a little bit more stretching. So let's come to the floor for our tummy time. Let's start with our table. So we talked about this last week. When you're making your table, you wanna make sure that your knees are right underneath of your hips, so they should draw a straight line down. My hands are right in front of my knees, so there's another straight line out here. My wrists have to be in line with my shoulders, so there's a straight line down. They're not wider, they're not closer. Same with my knees, they're not wider than my hips, and they're really not touching. There should be a little space between your knees, okay? My back needs to be nice and flat, not like there's an elephant sitting on my back, but not like I'm an angry kitty cat. If I'm a table and I have a big bowl of popcorn on my back, I wanna make sure I'm not gonna spill it. Let's start with our leg lifts. So pick, I always pick my right leg first. We're typically in a circle when we do this and it doesn't really matter which leg we do, but I'm gonna pick my right leg first. So stretch your right leg out. Try to make sure your hands stay flat on the floor and let's count to eight. Lift it up one, float it down on two, up again, two, and down. Lift it up. Four. Don't let your hip lift up. Five, don't spill your popcorn. Six. Seven. And as high as you can get it on eight. Let's change legs and count backwards this time. So start with eight. Seven. Six five, four, three, two, and one. Very good. All right now, bring your knees into your chest, your hips down to your heels, and take a little rest, trying to be as small as you can be. Take a deep breath in, and exhale. Do that one more time, in, and exhale, breathe out. All right, let's come to our tummies. So these are our mermaids. We always stretch our feet, point your toes in the back. Those are your mermaid fins. Your hands have to go under your shoulder blades and you're gonna push your arms straight. Your shoulders have to be down out of your ears so you can stretch your nice long giraffe neck. Okay, point your feet and take a break. Let's do that again, push up. Look up to the ceiling this time. Stretch your shoulders away from your ears. And take another break. One more time for good measure. Ready? Push it up. Stretch, stretch, stretch. And take a break. Pull your knees into your chest again. Hips down on your heels. Take three deep breaths this time. One. Two. And three. Roll on up. All right, so before we took our break, we had been working on a fish dive pose. And everybody did a really great job with this one. So let's practice it one more time because we're going to use it in our choreography today. So we're going to come down to our knees first. Put your hands on the floor and lower your belly down. Hands get crisscrossed one on top of the other. We're all gonna pick our right leg. So if you're looking at me, that'll be this leg for you, okay? Picking your right leg up, you're gonna bend your left leg at the same time. So I bend one and I keep the other one straight, all right? Let's see if I can back up a little. So I'm gonna keep my right leg straight and I'm gonna bend my left leg like this, right? My foot is gonna come onto my knee. Okay, and I keep both of my elbows on the floor. So if you're facing the front, you'll look like this. Okay, try not to let it go sideways. It wants to point straight up to the ceiling. Pushing your shoulders down, keeping your leg nice and straight and your foot pointed. Okay, let's try the other side since we have to do it on both sides. So this time, pick up your left leg straight and your right leg's gonna bend. Ready? Hands one on top of the other. That's your left fish dive, right? Try not to let your hips come off the floor. Push your shoulders down so your neck is nice and long. 
right? We're gonna put our fish dive into our choreography today. Let's get ready for some plies. Moving into plies and fondues. Today we're gonna to work in first position and in second position. So let's go ahead and get our first position. We always call that pizza feet because it's like I have a slice of pizza, a triangle between my feet, but we're really hungry, so we want a big slice of pizza. So get those toes as far apart as you can. All right, we're gonna vary the timing today on our plies. So every time you bend your knees or plie, get lower, I want you to think about moving through water, or sometimes I like to say jello, because I think that would be fun to move through. Um, you can pretend that you have a rubber band tied around your knees, and so every time you plie, it's really hard. You have to push, you're stretching that rubber band, and you don't want to let it snap back in. You want to let it come nice and slow, okay? So we're going to do plie and stretch. That's the slow one. Now two fast ones, plie, plie. Okay, now releve, rise up. That's when we look over the fence. Releve nice and slow. Lower your heels nice and slow. Rise up, rise up. Okay, remember we don't pop our heels down on the floor so you shouldn't bounce. It's like taking an elevator ride up and I feel all of my toes on the floor and I take the elevator back down. Even if I do it fast, I take it up and I take it down. All right, sneak your feet out to second position. Slow and stretch. Faster, releve, releve, rise, lower your heels, and two more. Back to first, plie, and stretch. Then faster plies, releve, rise, all 10 toes on the floor, releve, releve, out to second, plie, and stretch. Plie, plie, releve, lower your heels, releve, releve, and you should always end the way you started, so put your feet back in first. As we keep our hands on our hips, remember your thumbs are in the back, your fingers are in the front, don't let your elbows fall back behind you, they need to point out to the sides of the room. Okay, let's try it with music. I'll be ready. And demi, stretch, faster, plie, plie, releve, rise, take the elevator up, take it back down, now faster, up, and up. Second position, plie, stretch, faster, demi, demi, releve, rise, releve, rise up, Lower your heels, rise up, and up. Back to first, do it again. Plie, and stretch. Oh, don't get on the couch. Demi, demi, rise up, releve. Lower your heels, and up, and up. Out to second, demi, and stretch. Faster. Last set, releve, and lower, and rise, and rise, and in first, the same way you started. Nice job, girls. We're gonna keep moving forward with that timing that we were working on, that pattern of slow, and then too fast. So our tondus today, tondu means to stretch. So you're stretching your leg as long as you can. Every time you tondu, you wanna feel like your leg is getting longer and longer and growing. Okay, tondu devant to the front. You're gonna do one to the front, nice and slow. Then two fast ones to the front. Okay, devant to the front, Alice cone to the side. You go nice and slow out to the side. Slow in, then faster. 
derriere goes behind you. Make sure it goes right behind you. And close. Out and in. Out and in. So we did front, side, back. We always finish one more side because we have to make it like a cross on claw. So let's slow and close. Too fast. Two. Then you're gonna do the whole combination again on the left side. So that's a slow and a close. Tondu, close, tondu, close. Remember my foot whispers and close. Tondu, close, and a tondu, close. Derriere and stand tall, even stretch this leg. Tondu, close, tondu, close. Side and close. Tondu and a close, tondu and a close, right? The whole time you're doing this combination, elbows are pointed out to the sides of the room. You're thinking about lengthening your neck so I can see your long dangly icicle earrings. Place a crown on top of your head, don't lose your crown, okay? If you look down or look up, you're gonna lose your crown off the top of your head. So float your head up nice and tall and be very proud. Here we go. Get ready with your right foot. Smiles on. Slow. Close. Fast. Two times. Alice Cone. Slow and close. Whisper your foot. Tondu. And to the back, derriere, and close, and out and in, Alice Cone, and close, Tondu, and close, left side to the front, close, Tondu, and a close, Tondu, and a close, side, close, Tondu, Tondu, derriere. Back, whisper that foot in, tondu, tondu, to the side, close, tondu, and tondu. All right, give yourself a big A plus because you're absolutely awesome. Nice work, girls. Frogs and fish, let's review what we know. So you need to practice your leapfrog with somebody at home, um, or if you don't have somebody that's similar in size to you or you're having a hard time doing it with one of your parents, you can try it with a teddy bear or a big pillow, or you could just pretend like you're jumping over a person and not really jump over anyone. The key is that as soon as you put your hands on their shoulders, you jump over them, then you go straight down right away. You don't turn around to look at them before you go down to the floor, okay? So we do our leapfrog on, okay, and we come from stage right. When you're finished, you're gonna put your pizza feet on with your hands on your hips, and we do with our left leg, passe, pizza feet, pas de chat, that's passe, passe, down to pizza feet, okay? So you've done, we say jack be nimble, jack be quick, jack jump over the candlestick, that's a long, tall candle, so you wanna jump over it without getting burned, a chape, escape, your legs go out into that second position plie, jump them back in first position plie, and stretch. Now you have to do it again. Start with the right leg. Jack be nimble, jack be quick, jack jump over the candlestick, a chape out, back to pizza feet, stretch your legs, right? From there, the fish music starts and it's a lot more fluid. It's it's smoother music, okay? So, glee sod, glide. Pizza feet on. Tonlier, slide. Arabesque. This arm, this right arm, comes down over your head. Take lots of little tiny steps. Hit me over and pour me out. Then you turn to your right. Turn around. Tip to the right. Then do it again, glee saw, tonlier slide, arabesque, right arm comes down and up, tiny steps to the left, tip to the left, 
turn around and tip to the right. Okay, let's try it all with music. All right, here comes your music and remember you start with your leapfrog. to the left then we go up tall turn around tip it over to the right from there we're going to walk four times one two three four we're going to come to a new formation that I'll teach you when I see you down onto your knees out to your belly hands one on top of the other stretch your right leg long put your left underneath sit up nice and tall and that's gonna be a pretty picture. Then you're gonna get right back up, put your pizza feet back on. Then we get to repeat something we already know, which is always my favorite. So we're gonna repeat our frogs. Jack be nimble, Jack be quick, Jack jump over the candlestick, a chape, pizza feet. Jack be nimble, Jack be quick, Jack jump over the candlestick, a chape, back to first. And from there, we just need to walk off stage and your frog piece is finished. All right, let's put it all together from the leapfrog at the beginning, ready? Thank you, ladies. Keep practicing. In your formation, put your pizza feet on. Get ready.
take it around to the right. And repeat, glide, arabesque, arm goes up, tip it out on the right left, turn it around, tip it right, walk, two, three, four, and down, and out, up. Thank you, ladies. Keep practicing. In your formation, put your pizza feet on. Get ready. Ish K. Right side. Ish K. And glide. Three side. Arabesque. Arm up. Take it to the left. Tip it up. Take it around to the right and repeat. Glide, arabesque, arm goes up, tip it out on the right left, turn it around, tip it right, walk, two, three, four, and down, and out, up. Thank you, ladies. Keep practicing. All right, remember I left my tap shoes at the ballet, so I'm wearing these soft jazz shoes. You don't have to wear tap shoes to tap dance. Um, they just make that extra clicky noise, and if you don't have a floor that's safe for you to have your tap shoes on, then you should probably either wear your bare feet, you can still keep your ballet shoes on, I have jazz shoes on, um, or you could just do it in your socks. Let's get started with our song, ready? And this is my left foot, ha, ha, ha. This is my right foot, ha, ha, ha. This is my left foot, ha, ha, ha. I am laughing with delight, cause I know my left foot from my right. Do you know which one your right foot is? Fantastic, give yourself an A plus, cause you're absolutely awesome. Close up your grade book and put it away. So I found a song for us to dance to today. It's called Hippity Hoppity Frogs, and I thought that it was perfect since we're being frogs and fish for our ballet portion of our class. So we're gonna start with flaps. I'm gonna face away from you so that you are working the same direction as I am. So you're gonna start facing the front, okay? So pretend this is the mirror here in front of us, and we're gonna work our flap, heel, heel. So what that means is you're going to take your right foot, I'm going to face the side just for a second, brush the ball of your foot and put it down, then do two heel drops, okay? Then you do the same thing on the left. Brush, step, heel, heel. We're going to do two of them. So I say brush, step, heel drops, brush, step, two heel drops. Then I'm going to work a stamp with a toe knock. Stamp, knock, stamp, knock, stamp. This time I get two knocks. Knock, knock. Okay, let's try that. Let's make sure. So working with our new combination today, um, I found a song called Hippity Hoppity Frogs and I thought it would be really fun for us to dance to since we're being frogs and fish for our ballet portion of our class. Um, remember when we're tap dancing, we have nice loose knees. So we're actually going to start this choreography with 16 bounces. Okay. You can count to eight twice since dancers usually count to eight. So we're going to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right, we've been working on our full laps. I'm gonna face the same direction as you, so we're working in the same direction. Um, really quick, I'm just gonna face the side though. So with your right foot first, 
you're going to do a falap, which is a brush with a step. I brush the ball of my foot, the heel of my foot doesn't touch. Brush, step, and then a double heel drop, drop, drop. Do it again with the left foot. Brush, step, drop, drop. Those are the falaps, okay? So you go brush, step, drop, drop, brush, step, drop, drop. All right, moving on. So we've done falap, heel, heel, falap, heel, heel. We're gonna do a stamp on the right foot with a knock on the left. Now stamp, knock the other side. Now on the third one, it's special because it gets two knocks. So stamp, knock, knock, right? Let's go back to the beginning. Falap, heel, heel, falap, heel, heel, stamp, knock, stamp, knock, stamp, knock, knock, okay? If you have, all right, so this first time I'm gonna do it facing you because I'm afraid you won't be able to hear me as well if I turn away. The second time we do it, I'm gonna face the same direction. So get ready. We're gonna to count to eight twice, or that's 16 counts. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, full out. Falap, heel, heel, falap, heel, heel, stamp, knock, stamp, knock, stamp, knock, knock, right? Let's do it one more time. I'm going to face the same direction this time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, count again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. Pull out, heel, heel. Pull out, heel, heel. Stamp, knock, stamp, knock, stamp, knock, knock. Hardly anyone has so much fun as a hippity hoppity frog. When you see the way we swim. All right, so moving on, we have now done full out, heel, heel. Full out, heel, heel. Stamp, knock, stamp, knock, stamp, knock, knock. Now you have your left foot ready. Falap, heel, heel, falap, heel, heel. Now this is gonna look familiar. Stomp, comes back up, hop, step, clap, stomp, hop, step, clap. I'll do that again. We did that last week. So we just finished stamp, knock, knock. Now the stamp stays down. Stamp stays on the floor. Knock, knock. Falap, heel, heel, falap, heel, heel. Stomp, hop, step, clap, stomp, hop, step, clap. All right, now that one we worked on in class together and we worked on that one last week. So I'm pretty confident that you'll be able to do that one. Let's try all of it from the beginning, from the 16 bounces. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven and fall out, heel, heel, fall out, heel, heel, stomp, knock, stomp, knock, stomp, fall out, heel, heel, fall out, heel, heel, stomp, hop, step, stomp, hop, step. So we have just finished stomp, hop, step, clap, stomp, hop, step. Clap. We learned the Lindy step back when we did our ponies for the farm show. So a Lindy step on the left. Arms are going to go out on the chasse. So chasse. Now you're going to take your right foot out, then step it together. Bounce four times. All right, let me do that one again. So I just did stomp, hop, step, clap, stomp, hop, step, clap. Lindy step, right foot out. One, two, three, four. Now Lindy step the other way. Lindy step, now my left foot's out. Now we did work on this one a little bit before we left. Shuffle, hop, step. Shuffle, hop, step. Those are called Irish. Shuffle, hop, step is called an Irish, right? Let's try that one one more time really slow. So 
So we just finished stomp, hop, step, clap, stomp, hop, step, clap, lindy left, right foot out, bounce one, two, three, four, lindy right, left foot out, shuffle, hop, step, shuffle, hop, step. Okay, if you need to pause the video and go over it one more time, go ahead. I'm going to start with music. From the beginning. Three, four, five, six. Nice loose knees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and full out, heel, heel, full out, heel, heel. Stamp, knock, stamp, knock, stamp, knock, knock. Full out, heel, heel, full out, heel, heel. Stomp, hop, step, stomp, hop, step, Lindy. Right foot out, bounce, two, three, and Lindy, step, left foot out, shuffle, hop, step, shuffle, hop, step. Right, let's take it again from the top. This time I'm going to face the same direction as you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and. Full out, heel, heel. Full out, heel, heel. Sit, knock, stop, pop. Full out, heel, heel. Full out, heel, heel. Stop, hop, step. Lady, step. Take your right foot out. One, two, three, four. Lady, step. I wish. All right, ladies, keep practicing. Give yourself a nice big A plus because you're absolutely awesome. Put it in your grade book and keep it for later. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and. Full out, heel, heel. Full out, heel, heel. Sit, knock, stop, hop. Full out, heel, heel. Full out, heel, heel. Stop, hop, step, lady, step, take your right foot out, one, two, three, four, lady, step, I wish. Alright ladies, keep practicing, give yourself a nice big A plus because you're absolute from the beginning. Three. Four, five, six, nice loose knees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and full out, heel, heel, full out, heel, heel. Stamp, knock, stamp, knock, stamp, knock, knock. Full out, heel, heel, full out, heel, heel. Stomp, hop, step, stomp, hop, step, Lindy. Right foot out, bounce. Two, three, and Lindy step, left foot out, shuffle, hop step, shuffle, hop step. So let's get ready to do some stretching. Have a seat on the floor. We'll make our dessert first. Reach up and grab two sticks off of the tallest tree and put them straight down. Make sure your knees are straight. Right? You have to sharpen them up. Ask somebody to make them sharp sticks for you. My dad always sharpened them up for me when I was a kid. And I'm going to throw marshmallows into the air. Catch two. Reach down and put them on the ends of your pointy toes. Sit up nice and tall. Rest two fingers on the floor like, like we did earlier. And only move the balls of your feet. I don't want to see your whole foot flap. Okay, just the balls of your feet so your marshmallows get nice and golden brown, not burnt. Don't want to catch them on fire. That's dangerous. All right, pull your marshmallows out. Now you can flex your feet, blow on them. Reach down and pull your marshmallows off and get two graham crackers ready. 
marshmallow goes on one side, I like Reese's Cups on the other side, but you can put your favorite chocolate. Smush it up together, sit up nice and tall, and let's hold and eat our s'more for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Sit up nice and tall again. Let's slowly flap our butterfly wings. This butterfly is getting sleepy. It's almost bedtime. And let's get ready for our pizza. Okay, I like to keep my feet flexed. That way I know that my toes aren't rolling into my pizza. Okay, so make sure those toes are up to the sky. Put a little glue under your legs so that all of this part of my leg stays down. Ready? We're gonna pat our pizza dough out. And you're patting it out in the biggest circle because you have to feed everybody in your house tonight. Okay, smooth on the sauce all the way to the edge of your pizza crust. And sprinkle on the cheese all the way to the edge. Don't miss an inch. Watch your toes. Are your toes pointed up? All right, on the count of three, tell me your favorite pizza topping. One, two, three. Very nice. Set your timer for eight. We're going to count in Spanish first today. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho. Ding! Pull your pizza out. Reach as far as you can. Pull your pizza out. It's never done the first time. Push it back in. Reach as far as you can. Sit up nice and tall. Let's count in French. Ready? Un. De, trois, cat, cinq, six, set, wheat. Ding! There's your pizza. Reach in that oven and pull it out. Hands go behind your back. Take a big bite out of the middle of your pizza. Ready? Big bite. And sit up nice and tall. Make sure you wipe the pizza sauce off your face. And another big bite. Sit up nice and tall and shake your legs out. Very good. Crisscross applesauce. Give yourself a nice big hug and massage your shoulders for all the hard work you put in today. Make sure you do it with the other arm on top. Very good. And a pat on the back. And with the other arm as well. All right, girls. I can't wait to see your smiling faces again in class. If you have any questions or you want to send me a video, Please, your parents should all have my email um, from Valley Western Reserve, so please send me an email. I would love to see your progress, and I would love to see how hard you're working, girls. I can't wait to see you again. Bye-bye.